Welcome back. We're moving into task two in domain seven. It's called improve the process. So let's take a look. Improve the process. Now, as we talk about improve the process, there's something else I would love for Roy to talk about. So let's go to a slide that we have here that is quality assurance. I know he's already covered some of it. But Roy, can you talk one more time about this whole quality assurance mindset one more time? Yeah, often, especially in the IT space, uh, but in other areas as well, we think of QA as a collection of testers. They write test cases, they run the tests, they report bugs uh, or defects in some way. And then the people who are doing the hard work of building things, they're the ones who go off and do stuff and, and repair those, those defects. Well, quality assurance in an agile, minds, uh, agile, agile world is very, very different. Everyone is responsible for quality. It's not a collection of testers. Um, it's not a separate team. The team itself who is building it, they are responsible. They take full ownership for the product and that includes the quality of the product. So right from day one, the team is working together to make sure that we know how to verify the product, validate it. We have the proper test cases, the proper environments, the tools we need so that we can test this thing and make sure that it's, it's functioning correctly. That means developers, are also testers. Um, and, and think about it this way. We, we tend to think again that QA is a, co a collection of testers. Anyone can test, right? Mm -hmm. I don't need highly skilled, highly trained individuals to run test cases. I need highly skilled, highly trained individuals to write test cases, to know how to test. That's the stuff that's really valuable. I can get someone right out of college as an intern and have them run well execute or well de well defined test cases. That's easy to do, right? I'm not trying to put down the, the whole testing thing. You know, if they're well written test cases, it's it's done properly, then it's it's a lot easier to actually ex execute those things. So if we're starting from that mindset that QA is not a collection of testers, it's mm -hmm. a skill set that helps us maintain the quality. And most importantly, quality is a mindset. It's not just a practice, not something we do after we've built a bunch of stuff. It's the whole team that is ultimately owning and responsible for the quality of the product they're producing. That's everyone on the team, not just a, a collection of testers. Right, Phil? Great stuff, Roy. Thank you for that. Let's take a look at task two. Building on that, it says improve the process. Mm -hmm. And what are we trying to do? Improve team processes. How? By conducting frequent retrospectives and improvement experiments. And why? To continually enhance the effectiveness of the team project and organization. Comments, Roy. Yeah, absolutely. So, the, so the, the primary opportunity here is our retrospectives, right? It doesn't have to be just that. As we mentioned in flow-based, it can happen at any point in time. But the idea is that the retrospectives or that con Kaizen concept, we're going to look at things that may not be optimal in our processes or our products, or ourselves, whatever. And we're going to try and experiment to see if we can improve it. Now, the, the reason we call it an experiment is we have a, a hypothesis. We believe that this is the right thing to try. So we're going to say, let's try this. Based on what we see, let's try this action. And then we do that action. We take it and we execute it for the course for a certain period of time, whatever the, the team feels is appropriate. And then when it's the right time, we will then look back and say, is it working? Right? And if it is working, let's continue doing it. If it's not, let's modify it. Let's try something different. So from that, that, that concept, it is always an experiment. It is never, this will fix it. This might fix it and let's prove it or disprove it and then try something else if it doesn't. Um, so the basic idea is just always looking for opportunities to get better, always look for opportunities to improve the process, experiment, take actions and see what happens as a result. Don't guarantee it's gonna work, right? Thank you, Roy. Good stuff. Let's take a look at a question. At this point, almost anything is fair game because you've done almost all the domains now. So let's just jump into a question, a blast from the past that you might remember if you were on our PMP exam training program. It's uh, very much uh, in line with uh, the world of Agile here. So there's your poll. This is a great flow question, Phil. I like this one. Yeah, this is fun.
All right, just coming over a minute. Three, two, one. All right, let's go ahead, end the poll, and let's share the results. So everyone who voted got this one right, right? What do we say? What's the mantra, Roy? Stop. Stop starting and start finishing, right? It's finishing that we want to do. It's And, and really what it comes down to, Phil, is this is, is a, a core problem that most organizations have. They focus on keeping busy. They don't focus on getting done, right? So even if it means not doing something, that's actually sometimes better. So we want to focus on getting the work to done. That means work to, uh, together as a team to fix the problems, right? That's what flow is all about. There we go. And that's it. I mean, everything at this point, like I said, is fair game. All of these questions at this point, we should be able to tackle them because we've covered all the associated areas. We may not have questions that are as elaborate or difficult, but going through them definitely helps uh, recall those things we talked about before. And that concludes our task.